Hi, I'm Terry. I'm a disabled veteran. I live on a little lake up in Michigan, just 15 miles north of the Indiana border. And uh, today I'm gonna do a little walk around and show you my cargo conversion trailer that I use uh, to go south when it gets, when the weather gets bad up here. Uh, the, the, this is where I live up in Michigan. So I spend summer up here and then, uh, and uh, some of the time in the winter too. But uh, my goal was to simply get out of the cold weather and go to a place that's as quiet and peaceful as this down south um, during times when the weather is just intolerable up here. And I do that because, uh, well, one, I'm an old man and I don't like the cold anymore. It gets into my bones. Um, but <clears throat> I was never a person that worked with my hands. And so I've been through several uh, different ways of traveling. I had a full-size van and uh, we had a great time with it and loved it. But uh, my doctor said I had to quit traveling with that because it was uh, messing up my, uh, my neurological system that I have problems with. And so uh, I bought a Pacifica and it was too small and so I decided to try out this cargo trailer conversion. Uh, I just couldn't see the sense in the price of RVs. They were just kind of silly in the pricing. But since I don't know what I'm doing to do all the work and everything, I decided the best thing to do was to buy something that is very high quality, well-made, uh, that won't give me problems or hassles and uh, it's lightweight so um, I used to pull this with my Pacifica but now I pull it with a with a Honda Ridgeline and this Honda Ridgeline rides like Buicks and Cadillacs did in the 60s okay but let me tell you about the trailer Okay, I special ordered this trailer. It took 30 days for them to make it, and I ordered it about two years ago. Up in the front there, that's a hatch that I had put in so I could put in a window air conditioner if I want to. And I ordered it with a foot of extra height so we could stand up comfortably inside. And I ordered with those rails on the top. Um, one was so that if tree branches fall and stuff, they won't damage the trailers. They're not as likely to do that. And also those, these things just really come in handy. So I ordered it with the diamond plate also and, uh, and the, the mag wheels. That's not something that's necessary, but I like how it looks and it mattered to me. So uh, I had 30 amp service installed and then uh, you can't see it down there, but I have a water inlet, which I'll explain more about later, that I just hook up a hose to if I'm on a campsite that has uh, water, which usually I am. <clears throat> we generally stay at Corps of Engineer campgrounds in Alabama or Mississippi. Um, and uh, the thing that's important to us is that uh, they're really nice and quiet and peaceful. And uh, we try to stay at ones where we have good cell service so that I can watch TV and Deborah, my girlfriend, can play her games online with her girlfriends. And uh, so I ordered it with a foot of extra height with the racks on the top. I put a backup camera, a Bluetooth camera up there on the back that I can and that's a little solar light that comes on automatically at night. And uh, I ordered the trailer with these windows installed with screens. My goal is to make it so that it's kind of like being on a porch when you're in there. And so I also will often open this up and then above the uh, little fireplace there, I have a rolled up bug screen that I put down here. And uh, we keep our cooking stuff down there, um, the grill and there's a stove and then that's where the hose and stuff is in that bucket. And then this back window has a screen if, if it's too cold to have the whole door open. 
but generally we keep it closed anyway because we have a cat that travels with us and we don't want the cat to get out because cat doesn't have any front claws when she adopted this cat that was one of the things it didn't have claws so it can't protect itself okay so this is just a little patio umbrella it's a half umbrella and uh Oh, I ordered the trailer had that step with it and it had the RV door and the screen door that was all uh, part of what came from the factory and uh, I just put one of the little garage hooks I strapped it to the roof rack with uh, some uh, zip ties and then that umbrella sits there and that's a little suction handle like you put in a bathroom and uh, I just stick that up there and bungee it to it and that holds it pretty good. This window opens and has a screen and of course it had the screen door here. And uh, then we're pretty much all the way around to the front again. So let me go ahead and step inside. So let me back up first here a little bit. Okay, when we walk in the door, there's a sink right in here and that's just a, a thing we sit on top with dirty dishes in it so we don't have to clog the sink because we use the sink for washing our hands and brushing our teeth. I ordered this trailer with the top finished and with the sides with plywood uh, it's, it was pre-insulated from the factory too. So it had, th I ordered it with the 30 amp service and w insulated. There's the hatch where I can put an air conditioner if I want to, but I've traveled for two years in this and never used the air conditioner. So I don't even carry it anymore because we only travel in the winter time usually. And we travel down South and try to hit in the sixties or seventies temperature wise. So everything else that I finished in here with, it's not really finished. You know, it's just stuff stuck in here because I don't know how to do things. So I got these cabinets. All these cabinets are just from Menards, uh, you know, a store just like Home Depot or whatever, but they're the cheapest unfinished cabinets that they had. And I ordered those plain knobs and then I got those child things to uh, uh, keep them shut while we travel. And I ordered E-Track in the trailer too. There's one down low and one up. And then there's just two by fours that go across that the bed sits on. So it has a slatted bed frame with a regular mattress on it. And I ordered the trailer with uh, six and a half feet wide so that we could put the bed sideways. And uh, so let's see here, what else? I just got a little electric fireplace that I mounted on the wall and um, then hung some curtains up. Once again, the, the, the tops of the uh, cabinets and the counters and things, they're those pre-sized shelf units. And the one that's on the counter here uh, is just two of them put together and I got that sink off Amazon and cut the hole and, and then I screw them down. You know, it's not real professional, but hey, it functions, works great actually. And then I've got a, a whale pump and two bottles of water back there. One that's a drain and one that's fresh water. And that's an extra power station. It's the same as this one here. And I have that because I've been on the road before and had problems with some of these things. And so I carry that spare power station now. And uh, so usually we cook, she cooks outside and then uh, we'll save things in the refrigerator and heat them up later. If the weather's not nice, we'll just heat stuff up that's in the fridge because we have a microwave and toaster oven and of course the coffee pot. Um, then, uh, that is a water heater. It's an electric water heater. That water inlet that's outside goes into that. And then 
it has a hose that just has a, a it's garden hose basically with a nozzle and you can set the temperature that you want the water and uh, you just plug the water into the hose and then plug this thing in and it heats the water and then you got the water comes out of the hose whatever temperature you want it and I put that in here because it's easy to get heated water then for her to wash dishes. We don't use the sink. We only use the sink for like rinsing our coffee cups and brushing our teeth and washing our hands. Uh, we don't wash dishes in there because the gray water is not set up for that. I'm, I'm trying to figure that out for the next improvements that I make in this. Um, the umbrella that's outside, I roll it up and stick it in this corner right by the door. Um, that's where it's stored. And then um, I got the little green bungee cord that I use down here to keep these drawers shut. And then we use bottled water for coffee and for drinking. And so I stuck a case of water in there. The propane heater, the wave heater, the only time that's used is when we're traveling between campgrounds. So when we leave here and we're on the way down south, uh, I turn that on because it keeps it from freezing up in here while we're on the highway. So I don't use the propane at all when we're stopped because um, we always, we only stop where we plug in. So I use electric heat uh, when it's too cold and we got two of these little heaters and plug in one up here and one in the back. And then there's the refrigerator and looking up, okay, uh, that's, I'm kind of a hockey fan. So there's some autograph sticks. Um, that's what that's about. And uh, this is our bathroom area. That's my yoga mat. Um, I do yoga twice a week for veterans with PTSD. And then we have a cassette toilet We've tried a lot of things and uh, this really works great. It's simple. It holds like five or six gallons of water and then it, that top pops off. You take the bottom and you dump it in the dump tank or dump station. Or if you have sewer at the campsite, you can dump it in there. Uh, we only use that for urine and uh, we use the facilities at the campgrounds for uh, Otherwise, when we go to the bathroom, I have a Max Air fan that I had installed. Um, and this enclosure is uh, shower curtains on those steam pipes. And uh, the reason I did that is because I'm thinking about uh, putting a floor uh, a shower pan type set up. And, and uh, I got a couple holes down there where I used to have a diesel heater in here. And uh, I might try to use something like that to make a drainage system. Um, but anyway, back around, there's the door. Now I'm standing up in the front in the kitchen. And on the left, there's the window. And then that's the counter. I usually hang out here at this counter. There's my hat. Uh, I'm just an old hippie, so... Um, this thing is just a, a thing that we pull out to cover up the door window. Um, there, there's a window in the door when we close the door and uh, to have a, a little bit of privacy, we'll put that across the window there. This is my junk drawer, which is basically a macrame hanger. Okay, and we use uh, these USB rechargeable lights. And I've got a Bluetooth speaker here and uh, there's my ashtray. Uh, I, I don't smoke cigarettes, I smoke pot, so uh, it helps a lot with my PTSD and I have what's called functional neurological disorder. So uh, there's the hanger, I did that, okay, and that's where my hat stays. Uh, the cabinets again, the e-track and the fireplace, that's another USB rechargeable light. There's the bed, all the way across. And this little thing here, my CPAP machine sets up here. 
because I have another power station down underneath. Then this table here comes up and uh, when we relax in the evening, usually one of us will sit here with that table and one will sit down here in the chair and then we take turns, we swap back and forth. Um, I sleep on this side because I need the CPAP machine and so she has to crawl over me um, and we got that little stand thing up there for her phone to sit in and then there's a cord that comes up from underneath the bed to plug it in and let's see above the fireplace is the screen rolled up that goes over the back when we open that up and then down underneath the bed um all this space here in the front underneath the bed and that side we put the cat litter box and then we put uh deborah and i our uh, shower bags because uh, we use the showers at the campgrounds and uh, so we each have a shower bag that we set there and then over on this side we set the cat food and cat water and because Deborah says they don't like it to be right next to each other and so I will also uh, we have a laundry bag and I'll stick it back here too so we keep the dirty laundry between the food and the water and the and the cat box so the floor uh, this is that I don't know what you call it it's like a gym floor stuff and I just stuck that down because it kind of works like an insulation in here I didn't want to do anything permanent and then we have these throwable throw rugs this we have two of these a little bit different colors and we just throw them in the washing machine uh, when they get too nasty. So, um, let's see, did I miss anything? Um, oh, this little ledge over here. I just made this so we can set our hotspot phone up here and, uh, I'll sit here and watch my hockey games and I have all the windows open and everything. It's just like sitting outside, but we don't have to worry about the bugs. My goal was to be able to go into a campground and be set up in like five minutes. And if I want to leave, it takes five minutes to pack up and go again. So I'm not one that sets up all this stuff outside with the clam tents and the outdoor patio furnishings and everything. I, I want it all to be in here because that way I can enjoy it no matter what the weather is. Okay. Well, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.